Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 13 of my Traveller's Notebook with Record Fawn series. Um, so today I'm working with a two photo um, spread, I think you'd call it in the Traveller's Notebook. And um, these photographs I've used specifically, um, I'm sure everyone has their favourite colour and I'm sure everyone has their most hated colour. Well, for mine, well, I have a bunch of most hated colours. Um, green is not a colour that I like um, in the slightest. So I've really challenged myself to use the um, pattern papers in the um, this monthly embellishment kit. And um, that ledger paper on the left is absolutely fine, um, but there are other greens in the washi tape strips that um, naturally I would really struggle with. So I'm going to um, really push the boundaries and um, get these bits used up and make them work for me. So these strips of floral paper here, these are um, from the um, Traveller's Notebook paper inserts, well they're not paper, they're cardstock um, inserts, but I've used them these are like off cuts where I've used them to, um, I think, back other photos. So all I'm doing there is I'm just, um, I've got these four odd strips, but they are big enough to um, back both photos. But um, I'm having to um, do one on the left and one on the right. And you can't notice, once they're all stuck down, you can't actually notice that they're two separate strips. So this is a good idea if you've got the odd bits of the same pattern left you can just overlap them and it really isn't noticeable so these two photos here so this is the reason why um, I've used the photographs that I have um, these photos have um, a fair amount of green in them and um, so I thought they'd go well with using up some of the green washi and some of the green pattern paper so I've cut down the same size uh, strip of um, just some white cardstock and I'm going to use that as the right hand side of this layout. So if you wonder what I'm doing in the photographs here, um, and let me know in the comments down below if you do this as well. So um, I don't know whether it was called, it was some sort of Instagram challenge um, where you go into, I think these were taken in... I think these might have been taken in Dunnell Mill or Hobbycraft um, where they have like a bunch of uh, fake flowers and you just sort of back yourself up into it and take a photograph. Um, me and my friend um, were doing this before and then we were in uh, a shop um, as I said and I was with my husband and I said oh, I'll get into the flowers so I can take a photograph. Um, so he did, um, he did quite easily actually. He, he um, I think he enjoyed it, so I managed to <laughs> managed to grab this photo. Um, let me know if there's a name of a challenge, if you know what I'm on about, and whether you do. I still do it now. If I find um, if I find a shop that's got a whole load of fake uh, flowers and plants, I'd sort of chuck myself in between them and try and grab a photo. So, as I said, I'm going to use up um, some of the green colours in these washi strips that naturally I'm not drawn to and um, it's just going to help complement the photo so I am I'm just going with it so I've cut that speech bubble out of the other pattern paper again I've got rid of the lime green from around the edge and um, I'm just going to use the white but the white on that ledger paper just gets lost so I need to I need to lay something underneath to help the speech bubble um, pop. So that's what I'm doing with these washi strips. So when it gets to this bit here, I'm just alternating, trying to use. Um, I think I'm using five or six different washi strips, and I even used um, another strip of that pattern paper that's behind the photos that was just um, in the it was just an off cut so that went on as well and yeah just alternated and then I know that that strip with the uh, pluses on wasn't quite long enough to go all the way across but 
Um, it's going to be hidden behind the speech bubble, so um, I just tear it in half, and no one's going to know that it's not. There's nothing in the middle. Um, and then the same as this strip here. This actually is the same pattern as the pattern paper. And so I do the same little trick again, just to hide that in the middle. You're not going to see. And then I use the green polka dot um, washi at the top and the bottom, the scalloped one, to create nice a nice decorative edge. And then that frames that uh, speech bubble quite nicely. So. Um, I'm going to have a look at my title now. I was going to um I was going to use black, but you can see those alphas are um getting on the thin side. So I come in with the red ones instead and this one is going to be titled this guy gets me. So yeah, I'm using the red alphas. I love the font on these ones. And that's going to go inside the speech bubble and that's almost going to double up as my journaling as well as my title because um, you can see what we're doing in the photos. Um, perhaps I could tell a story about jumping into a, um, a flower display every time I see one. Um, I've got other photographs of me in flower display so I'm sure I'll tell that story somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I'm just using the um, this title to um, double up as my journaling as well so I'm just adding those on trying to make them as straight as possible and then um, this still doesn't pop enough for me even against the washi so I just bring in a black fine line in a 0.5 I think it is and I just go around the edge the inner edge of the speech bubble to um, help give it some definition and next I don't want to do too much embellishing on this so I'm just going to use a couple of these little um, red arrows to point across to the photographs um, so that signifies that the right hand side layout um, is to do with the left if that makes sense and then I'm going to pop the um, the little speech bubble up onto some foam as well to give it some dimension. Otherwise, it's all going to be very flat. So I just cut a square of foam. And then one of my um, best techniques, if you're doing foam for a circle, is to cut it in a square and then just trim the edges off. And then generally it fits in quite perfectly. Um, I was going to attach that to the outside of the pocket. Um, but I decide not to in the end. I do decide to um, adhere it on the actual backing and that will go inside the pocket. And I've checked and it doesn't make the pocket um, too bulky. So I have a couple of, couple of green labels here. And so I'm just going to use those on the right hand side. And one of my favourite things to use um, on those labels are roller date stamps or roller phrase stamps. So... That top one is going to get a going to get a, a phrase in it. I think it says "I love you because." Um, so I th I'm pretty sure what's that what that one says. But then I mess up. I mess up the stamping. Um, I love you. Yeah, I love you because. Then I mess up the stamping with the date, and this is something I'm definitely getting the hang of now. Is making sure that I'm dating all of my layouts. Because um, there's nothing worse than going back and not knowing when exactly the photograph was taken. <clears throat> so I just add, um, just got one of those little red arrows left on the sheet. So I thought I'd add that one in and point it to, in the opposite direction. So I'm going to add some um, ink splatters. I've realised I've not done any um, anything mixed media on my um, traveller's notebook. So I'm going to make it nice and easy and just add in some ink splatters and that's going to add in some more um, interest as well so I've got these two um, Heidi Swap colour shines one in uh, sweet mint I think it is and one in the um, teal colour Tropicana teal is it um, so I'm just adding a mixture of um, the green and the blue splatters to um, so these I'm going to do on both the white cardstock and the ledger paper as well. And then I'm just dabbing it down a little bit to give it some bigger 
ink splatters as well. And then I just go crazy and get it all over my workstation anyway, but I'm just adding these in here. I do have to let these dry um, separately, so you don't see me putting them in the album um, because I have left them out to dry. They should be good now. And then, yeah, just the date stamp on here. If you mess up on the date stamp, don't worry. Grab yourself a fine line pen. I use a 0.1 and um, just go back over the lines where it hasn't stamped properly. And this is the layout finish. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this series is bringing you inspiration as to what you can do in your own traveler's notebook. If it is, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you are new and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.